Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the Nintendo 64. Last time, we went to the Gerudo Fortress, where we got uh, imprisoned by the Gerudo chicks here. And now, that we freed all the carpenters and showed that we're awesome fighters, we are free to come and go through the gate to the desert as we please. And that's where the Spirit Temple is located, along with Naburu, who is uh, right-hand man, woman, whatever, do. Ganondorf, so we want to be careful about that because, you know, Ganondorf's kind of evil. Hey, newcomer. See, I really think this is a guy, but it could just be like... Fuck off, Navi. I was looking at this person, but... No. I guess I never actually looked up real close. I, I, I guess from a distance I just thought it was a dude. But no, it's obviously a woman. Okay. Fair enough. I always thought they were just like the random male Gerudos that they kept for, like, breeding or something like that. I don't know. And I'm probably wasting my time going up here without Epona because this is a Epona area where we have to archery on her back. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But we get rewards out of it, so... Oh, well. Anyways, there is a Skotula around here somewhere. I thought it was this one. No? I thought the spider was around here somewhere. Unless it's on one of the other particular treasure, uh, things we gotta look at here. Then we're gonna come back here during the day and do some horseback archery. And this is gonna be slightly easier than the ghosts because they're not moving around anywhere near as much. Or, you know, at all. So, that'll be nice. Yeah, I think the spider might be on the end of that particular platform way down at the end there. I remember it was on one of these targets, but I didn't remember which one. Some of the some of the spiders I have a like a semi clear recollection of where they are from like when I was a kid, and others I looked up online. I'm like I have no idea that you existed in the slightest. Same thing, same thing with like some of the heart pieces. Actually, same thing with just like a lot of stuff from my childhood. I'm just like I don't remember you, but I remember you. That's for sure. Like in a recent episode of Ninja Gaiden, I got to uh, kind of like a sewer area, and there's this hallway where some enemies respawn, and I remembered, I distinctly remember the look of the hallway, like, as soon as I got there, I'm like, I remember this from, you know, 15 years ago, or whatever the last time I played this game is, but I didn't remember why I remembered it, and after playing through it, I guess the main reason is because the enemies in there respawn a lot, but other than that, that's all I can think of, so, yeah, just random specific memories that don't really mean a whole lot, really, okay. And, by the way, getting to the Gerudo Fortress, or not the Gerudo Fortress, the Spirit Temple, I do believe that is down this path right here, where that gate is. Yeah, because this is the way out of Gerudo Fortress to, I think, the Carpenters? Yeah, Gerudo Valley. So, we need to talk to the Carpenters, grab our horse, make it daytime. Let's just, make it, let's just make it daytime right here, actually. Alright, so let's go talk to the carpenters. I'm pretty sure they've already rebuilt the bridge because they're effective like that. Yes, they have. Awesome. Hey, I heard you saved my men. When they return, we built this bridge. Look at this. Isn't it a fine bridge? They may be whippy carpenters, but once they all got together, they got the job done. Good for them. And I'm gonna guess they're all in here all sad. No, they're happy, because they're not. Building a bridge over the valley is a simple task for, for four carpenters. In Gerudo society, those who have great skill in horseback riding and archery are well respected. How about trying horseback archery? Yeah, okay. Uh, he's just telling me to go do that. But Naburu was a lone wolf thief. She never stole from the weak, but Nanobrew's Gang of Thieves stands for cruelty and brutality. <coughs> she claims to be a chivalrous robber, but no way. So apparently they've changed since Ganondorf got to power. The leader of the Gang of Thieves is Naburu. She's experimenting in brainwashing many people at the ruins of the desert. 
That doesn't sound great. Uh, I'm ignoring you, because I don't care about you. Can I call my horse from here, or... Or will they just say no? Do 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 Ah, she came out of the horse dimension. It's like the cat dimension except for Epona. Alright, let's go back to the Grudo Valley and get ready. Or I mean, it's still going to take me a little while to get this thing done, but it's not going to take that long, hopefully. So, we'll see. Uh, let's see, we need to go up towards the archery first. We could go to the the desert, but I want to get this out of the way. Probably going to do a couple practice runs before I fail miserably here. Hey, newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score 1,000 points, I'll give you something good. Okay. And I think if you score, like, 1,000 points again, you get something good. And I think with this, you don't have to worry about, like... Controlling a pony, yeah, she automatically does her thing. So we got the the pots here, which are worth a fair amount, and then you got the uh, you got those, which are also worth a fair amount. Let's see, and actually, you know what? If I can just uh, no, I can't turn around. Let's see if I can't do. Uh, That. Okay, I got a thousand on the first try, so that's not too shabby. Just either aim for the pots or aim straight for the middle of the targets. Yeah. Fantastic. You're a true master. I'll give this to you. Keep improving yourself. And we get ourselves a heart beast. Nice. We got one more to collect in the game, and that's coming up in the, uh, the desert area. But we're not going to get that one for a little bit, I think. I think if we get 12 or 1500, let's see, this is our horseback archery. Oh, okay. I guess we have to talk to her while on a horse. Fair enough. Yeah, the now they're going to have a higher score for us to get. And let's see. 1500 points. Okay. That's uh, 20 rupees. Let's try. And I'm just going to fail miserably for the first couple times here. But you know what? Let's see how it goes. See if I can't get. Uh... Okay, I got some. I'd have to do really good on the return trip to actually, you know, not fail miserably here. Okay, uh, let's see if I can get if I can get hundreds all the way around here. No. Okay, eleven thirty. So. Yeah, let's try again. I think with the with the pots, you can do pretty good just by like shooting pretty much right away. Or not? Okay. Four twenty. I'm not gonna get this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give up right now. We're not going to get that one, that's for sure. Uh, okay, yeah. They do stop you at some point, so that's nice. Alright. Let's see. I might even say screw it and not actually get this, but I will tell you what you get uh, if I decide that. So, it's a decent prize, but it might not be worth uh, all the pain and misery and suffering that I'm going through here. Okay, I need to do better than that. I don't think the boxes get you anything, like, at all. So, 
so that's good to know. Okay, I need to get way more than the arrows I have. Okay, 8.30. That's not even enough for the heart piece. Plenty of room for improvement. Yeah, I'll try a few more times here, and then I'm just going to say screw it and give up, because I might not care. Actually, you know what? Instead of the instead of going for the pots here, I might just say screw it and go straight for the, uh, the targets. Okay, 610, that's not bad. The problem is, I got a new... Okay, if I can hit every single pot on the way back here, then I could be good to go. Well, I got 1100, so it's better than nothing. I don't think that last pot gave me the, the points, though. Yeah, so, ah, the, the pots are worth a lot of money, but the problem is, or a lot of points, but the problem is you gotta really be good at them, which I'm not always. Perfect, okay. That's 600 right there. Okay, that's 720 right there. I need 800 more. So let's see if I can't do good. Ah, 1280. Okay, I'm going to try one more time, and if I don't get it then, I'm just going to tell you. Uh, the prize is the biggest cliver for your arrows. You get up to 50 arrows. So, it's nice, but it's not something that I'm terribly worried about. Especially this late in the game. Like, if this was a prize you got earlier in the game, yeah, sure. But, as it is, it's basically something I'm not particularly concerned about if I get, you know, or not. And if I get it, great. If I don't, well, I'm not really losing any sleep on it, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. So you get the big quiver. I'm going to say screw it and not get it, because I'm not great at the horseback archery thing, so... Okay. But... Yeah, if you can get it, great. If you can't, like me, well, less great. And actually, I don't think I need you anymore, horse. I mean, we could take you with us to the desert, but we are going to be abandoning you at the desert rather soon. I mean, it's nice that they made the heart piece the 1,000-point uh, reward instead of the 1,500 point, because if they had made the heart piece the 1,500 point, then I might not ever get full heart pieces. Horse, stop back it up like it's going out of style, and I don't know why, so stop. Okay, let's go to the actual desert, and they did say something about the Lens of Truth, so we're going to need that. Hello, can I get through the gate, please? Hey, newcomer. Okay, you don't care. Oh, wait. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Madam up here, or Madam Sir, I need to get through the gate, please, to the Spirit Temple. Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open the gate for you. But you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we placed there. The second trial is the Phantom something or other. Okay. Basically... Basically, what they already said, you know, you, you have to uh, be able to see what you, see where you're going. So we need the lens of truth for the second part, and then we need the we're gonna need the. Uh, can I go down? No. We're gonna need. Oh wait, we're gonna need the hover boots for the next part. But you know what? We can hold off on the hover boots for just a second here. 
chase the mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Alright. Actually, you know what? I think we might need both right off the bat, so... There we go. Okay, we have to wait till we actually get through the area. Or into the area here. Yeah, so in order to get past like these little quicksand areas, you need the, the hover boots here. And I don't, I don't think we can roll through this. We just have to walk really slow. And if you stop holding it, then you'll fall down. Okay, cool. That works. Now where is... There is going to be, like, a ghost around here that we follow. Oh, yeah, that's right. we got to follow the flags. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Yeah, follow the flags at first, and then eventually the ghost will show up. If you stray too far from the flags, then you have to restart. Okay, we don't need the... Yeah, we don't need the Eye of Truth right now, or the Lens of Truth right now, but it is a good idea just to... Have it out to just be on the safe side. I don't know if we have to like checkpoint each flag or whatever, but we might. Okay, and here we go right here. This is where the ghost is going to show up. But first, we want to go through here, and there is a sculpture up for us. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Let's see, I don't know what we get for lighting the, the lamps on fire here, but let's find out. There we go. The treasure chest at the very least. Get the purple rupee. Cool. I'll take it. There's a nut and a heart and anything else. Very and more magic. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get out of here. So yeah, what's as long as you have the feather boots and the lens of truth, this is a pretty easy area. All right, now let's go ahead and head up here. I do believe we're gonna have to read whatever this says. No, nope. yeah. So let's see what this thing says right here. One of the Eye of Truth shall be guided to the Spirit Temple by an inviting ghost. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. Alright, let's go. By the way, don't really worry about coming back for the most part, because it's the Spirit Temple. It's one of the temples, so... There's a very, very good chance that we're going to be getting a song to just warp us there. I mean, if you want to, if you want to go back to it, like, as an adult immediately, you're going to have to figure out how to get through this part. Uh, actually, I don't know if this guy comes back on the way back, but getting back is easy. You can just warp out to, you know, Temple of Times and whatever. that. But I don't know if this guy comes back if you decide, hey, I want to run back to the temple. And yes, this guy's taking a very winding path for no real good reason other than just to irritate you. But yeah, we have a nice easy path to get back. Er, we're gonna have a nice easy way to get back through here. Not a path, just a easy way to not have to deal with this. And the Desert Colossus. Not quite the Spirit Temple that I was thinking, but, you know, it's close enough. And these little dudes from... I think the last time we saw them was, like, Link to the Past. So they, they took a break from going to Wind Waker, but they didn't take a break going to Operator of Time, so that's nice. Ooh, and they're nice enough to drop items for me. Thank you. You know, let's go ahead and ignore them. And... Go through here. 
Yeah, I think these guys are called what? Levers? And then there's the... You know, no, not you. Uh... Yeah, levers, okay. And I think they just more or less spawn infinitely. So if you want to ignore them, like, good luck. I think if you stand on the rocks, they stop bothering you for a little bit. The bat does not. There you go, take that. Okay, let's see here. Right, for one second here, I gotta get something to drink. Alright, let's continue on, show. I wasn't trying to go for the ultimate darkness attack there, but it worked. And why is that guy purple? I don't know. But let's go. Uh, we need to head to the, the Colossus here. Actually, let me see. Is there anything in the rocks here? There might be. I don't know. Eh, if not, that's fine too. Then again, we might need to like. Yeah, we might need to use like bombs or something. So, fair enough. No? I guess there's just nothing here, huh? Screw you, Levers. Well, I guess, I guess there's nothing here besides these guys that just spawn forever. I guess the good thing about the Levers spawning forever is a lot of them do like to drop the free heart piece deal, so that's nice. If they ever drop it. Alright, so here is the warp pad. Which, again, I don't think they're going to... Yeah, they're not going to head up onto. So it's nice to have that. I'm going to ignore you guys if I can, but you guys are right on my nuts. Okay, that damn bat needs to screw right off. And, yeah, let's go back to our regular bow there. Alright, and let's head into the... Desert Colossus, Shadow Temple. I guess this area is the Desert Colossus, not the Shadow Temple that we're going to here. Spirit Temple, where the pots attack you because screw you. Not all the pots attack you. This is a good pot. They, this pot doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't want to destroy your ambitions here. If you want to proceed to the past, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. If you want to proceed to the past, okay. And what about you? If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. Okay. I'm trying to remember how many. I think you get. I think you actually get two dungeon items in this particular in this dungeon. So that's nice. Uh, there is a crawl hole, but Link is. A little grown up for that now, and you. Okay, I was trying to aim, you know, towards you, but Link decided he didn't want to like go in your general direction for whatever reason. Right, thanks for the bombs. And can we move you, or are you just a little too heavy for us there? You're a lot too heavy for us. Fair enough. Okay, so let's just head back out. See if we can't find another way in, like another side entrance or something like that. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Times River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. And also an adult, too.
Yeah, again, I don't really care for the warp songs. I like the other songs. Hey, Kapora Gabora. He must be an old ass owl by now, cause it's been, you know what? Seven years since we fell asleep, so he's at least that years old. Plus, I'm assuming he was pretty old when we met him the first time. That's a very convenient sandstorm for you there, buddy. Okay, so yeah, we gotta come back here as Child Link. So I'm gonna go ahead and warp back to the past. And then while I'm while I'm paused, I'm also gonna go ahead and get a bean from the, the bean seller, because we're gonna need that. And then I'm also gonna go get some water for for my bottle. So that way we can go ahead and be able to do what we need to do. So give me one second here. Alright, about to head back. Uh, we got ourselves a magic bean and a bottle of bugs. So, good. Let's see. A down, A right down, A. There we go. And we'll probably just spend the rest of this episode collecting the one heart piece and several sculptures scattered around the entrance to the spirit temple. And next episode we'll head into the spirit temple. We will have to waste a little bit of time working back to being an adult. Because you have to do some stuff as a kid and some stuff as an adult here. But that's just the nature of the beast. And you guys are still here bothering me, so leave me alone. Now, I think if we head... where is it? There should be a patch of soil around here. And let's see, I think it might be over here. No, we're not here. Where is the patch of soil? We're in an area with not a whole lot in it. This is actually a rather busy little area just because of the enemies for the most part. Here's a nice little dried up well, or oasis, I guess you want to call it. Where is... Where is the damn... There's a soft soil, soil around here where we can plant our bugs and then plant our seed. And then go from there. Where the heck is this thing? Oh, where are you at, dude? Where the hell is this thing? That is an excellent question, and I'm not entirely... Oh, it's right fucking there. Okay, so step one. Evict the Skotula from his home. How it fits down there, I don't know. Of course, I'm just imagining it like coming out of that tiny little hole, but it probably like actually burrows into the entire bit of ground. I think that hole was just there to make it, you know, a nice convenient little spot for it to for us to plant our bean in. There we go. And let's plant ourselves a bean here. And I think we have to head back as an adult to get the rest of the stuff, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's try this again here. And... Ignore you guys. 
I think we actually want to head down to that dried up little pond first, because that's where one of these sculptures is. And then the other sculpture and the heart piece are... Actually, they're... Yeah, the, the other sculpture and the heart piece are on the... Are on the ride. And by the ride, I mean the bean. Okay, so there should be a sculpture on one of these trees here, I think. Can I just, like, knock you off? No, I can't. Sadly, this part is a bit irritating just because you got to fight off all these assholes. So you might end up back during the daytime or something before you actually get the damn thing. There we go. Got it? Okay, cool. And there are one more Scotula and a heart piece here. So let's go ahead and grab those. And that should do it for us here. If I can actually get past these leaves real fast. You know, they're a lot more irritating when they're infinitely spawning, you know, for forever. And yeah, this probably isn't the most, you know, best way to do this. Grabbing the... Grabbing the stuff like this, but you know what? It works. Uh, I'm gonna die. And yeah, I got off on the wrong spot. Oh well. I'm trying to remember. Keep it nighttime so that way we. The skull till it spawns. Instead of, you know, not spawns. And yeah, let's go back on the ride here. I think with the skull till on the. How about you guys screw it up? With the sculpture on this thing, you have to kind of aim for it while you're riding along. Let's see, I gotta remember where it's at. That's the problem. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Never mind, that was actually a lot easier to get than I thought. I thought you had to, like, aim for the damn thing. And the heart piece should be on top of, I think, that little, like, pie arch right there. Pie symbol arch, not, like, pie rhubarb. But I'm sure you know what I was talking about, right? Okay, you guys... Honestly, I don't know if they're actually bothering to attack me specifically, or if they they get the idea in their head and then they kind of go in a straight line and kind of forget about me from there. That's kind of what it seemed like. They're very scatterbrained for whatever reason. I mean, if it works for them, good. But it doesn't seem to be working terribly well for them. And that was a bastard move right there, game. Uh, luckily, this will fill up my heart container. Which will cause me to fill up my heart containers. So that'll be real nice. It's at a very awkward camera angle, though, at least in my opinion. There you go. Gotcha. Piece of heart. And there we go. That's the final heart container in the game. Nice. Or the heart piece in the game. So we're all caught up on heart pieces. And we're good to go. We got one more heart container from... We got one more heart container from the temple there. And that'll do it. So next episode, I'll meet you guys back here as the child. And we'll head on through the spirit temple here as a child here. Look, there's a treasure chest right there and it's taunting me, but we can't reach it because our long shot is not long enough. Like, you can see that treasure chest in his hand right there. I don't know if there's one right there in the other hand. Okay, you need to okay, go right. Thanks for, the, thanks. thanks for the stuff right there. Anyways, next episode, we'll head through the spirit temple as a child. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.